Hey, hey everybody, Jason here, and I'm back with a quick video for you guys today. I was gonna make this a big old production, but I thought we would just make this a quick and dirty iPhone video. It is super common for me to see people install servos improperly, and generally speaking, what happens is people will tighten the servo mounts to the servo before they tighten everything down. And at the very best of times, this creates some tweaking where you've got a little bit of bending or tension on the ears of the servo horn. And in a plastic servo, you're way more likely to create some torque. Sometimes if you've got it torqued really bad and then you have a bad crash, you might even break the servo. This is less likely to happen in aluminum, but in aluminum, you can actually crack the mounts and things like that. So really what I do, I put the screws into the servo mount lightly, and then I snug the mounts down, and this leaves me some play in the system, as you can see. Then what I do is I take my driver, I, I, I kind of get it centered where I like it, I snug the top two down, and because I can't reach the bottom two without putting kind of a nasty angle on this particular driver, if this were a ball end, I might just snug the bottom two down, but now what I'll do is I'll take these two screws out, everything's in place and snug, I'll snug the bottom two, and then when I put everything back together, it's nice and snug and it's perfectly aligned without creating any additional torque or tension on the ears of the servo. So just a quick tip for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. We will see you in the next one.